According to Kanyangela, bail conditions are vulnerable to abuse and he strongly believes that Gustavo will flee to Angola, especially that one needs no passport to travel into either Angola or Namibia for a 20-kilometer distance. In addition, Gustavo was also born in Angola and has strong ties there, he says. Kanyangela also informed Judge Ursthazen that Namango Pesca SA, which received 50,000 metric tons of fishing quotas worth $150 million, appears to be a briefcase company. So, one can conclude that the quotas that Nangomal Pesca SA received was fraudulently received or was fraudulently awarded just to the benefit of the co-accused, of to the applicant. Gustavo, in his defense in chief, indicated that he was merely a company employee and all payments were by virtue of his boss's instruction merely loans or payments for services provided by co-accused. Um, what is your comment on the allegation that Mr. the applicant was employed by Namgoma Pesca Limitada and he at all times acted on instruction of Mr. Joa Barros? I never came across any instruction unless it was maybe done verbally. Kanyangela pleaded for all the 10 accused to be refused bail, saying in instances where the suspects escape from the country, this may result in lengthy extradition processes and cause trial delays. My client does not intend to abscond. Comment, if ever. I cannot read what is in his heart, so I... Okay. In fact, he's willing to report to you on a daily basis if need be. Comment if you have any. I'm not comfortable with it. Okay. But there are people that currently are on bail that reports to your officers, be it to you or to anyone else in the ACC. Yes, but not such in serious cases. I never saw... People come to report there in a case, in a serious case like this one. The commissioner added that evidence shows that Gustavo traveled to Angola and Iceland with his co-accused to set up deals to divert payments from summary fishing firms to companies they own in Dubai and Namibia. Gustavo, according to Kanyangela, benefited roughly $22 million from the deals involving $380 million in total.